Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be going through the succession topic of the Naval Biology curriculum. Let's begin. So starting off with primary succession. So what happens first is that the pioneer species, which are adapted to the harsh environment, colonizes the land. So you have a new land formed. And what happens is pioneer species, which are really adapted to live in the harsh conditions of the new land, colonize that land. So, for example, it might be lichens or it might be uh, maroon grass in sand dunes. So what they do is they will colonize the land and uh, the pioneer species would change the environment. So they would change the uh, abiotic conditions in the environment, which would uh, in turn make the conditions less hostile so pioneer species which uh, first colonize the land they would change the environment of that land so for example we only had bare rock there nothing else but pioneer species uh, change the environment so for example there there is more um, greens there's more green stuff now so uh, there's there's something that can grow there Be before nothing could grow um, so the the pioneer species have changed the environment. For they could they could have done that, for example, by lowering uh, the acidity of the soil. And next, the change in condition um, is more suitable uh, for the new species. So um, the new species which will be coming on next, uh, the pioneer species have done them a favor by making the conditions um, which which would be more suitable. Uh, for them and uh, so they can survive in them conditions so what happens next is that new less adapted species would come along and um, so for example first we had the pioneer species but now the less adapted species which are not adapted to the harsh environment uh, can come to this land because the conditions aren't really harsh anymore so for example these uh, which are not really adapted to the harsh environment can come along and survive so the new less adapted species um, so what they in turn do is they change the environment so the new less adapted species change the environment so this makes it less suitable uh, for the previous species so uh, the pioneer species would no longer to be be able to live in those conditions because the conditions are and less favorable for them now so because the new uh, less adapted species have changed the environment conditions and uh, the pioneer species um, are less likely less adapted and they would in turn and uh, die and so the previous species such as the pioneer species would be outcompeted basically and then this carries on until the final uh, community is reached which is the climax community and there would be no further succession. So uh, summarizing this first, the pioneer species uh, would adapt, um, would, which are adapted to the harsh environments, colonize the land, um, the land which, is, which has very extreme conditions, and they change the environment, um, for example, by making the abiotic conditions less hostile, um, and the, the, the change in conditions is more suited for the new species which are less adapted um, and the less adapted species then change the environment and um, out competing the previous species and this carries on until the climax community is reached where there will be no further succession. So we can also have secondary succession. So this is basically when there might be a disturbance in the climax community, for example, a forest fire. So looking at the picture below, we have a climax community reached there, but then there was a forest fire and we have um, just bare soil now. We, ha we don't have any species um, of trees or uh, any plants living, any animals living there. So what happens, um, it's different to primary succession is because the soil still remains so looking back at the primary succession and um, there was no soil it was just bare rock uh, in that in the example shown but this has soil remaining um, in the in in there and what happens is there might be some seeds remaining in the soil 
so the seeds remaining in the soil can uh, grow out quickly because the soil is there all the nutrients are there and whatever it needs is there so these quickly grow and this secondary succession would be much faster uh, than the primary succession so as you can see uh, it's not done in small stages uh, it can form the climax community and um, really quickly so why does succession increase survival rate so um, basically the succession makes the area more biodiverse so um, there will be more species present as as succession carries on uh, for example looking at primary succession first we have the only the pioneer species present but as we move on towards climax community there will be addition of more species making the area uh, more biodiverse so what this means is that there are more niches and more habitats present and uh, so this means that the organisms uh, have um, a bigger area um, to to be to be able to live in um, and they have a lot more um, feeding opportunities so because there are more species present there's more diversity of species present and they have a lot more uh, feeding sources to choose from um, and they, they have a lot more habitats so they have a increased chance of survival right so moving on to conservation so conservation basically preserves biodiversity um, and it also maintains the habitats for organisms so habitats uh, and their niches so how it does that so it basically keeps the communities same so it would stop the abiotic change for example the change in ph and what this leads to is that there will be no climax community uh, reached so for example if there is um, no change in the ph conditions um, this means that um, the next species can't come along which will uh, need that change in ph so as we have seen in primary succession and uh, the the species that the new species that come along would keep changing the conditions making it more favorable uh, but by conservation what we do is we keep the communities same so stopping the abiotic change so preventing any further succession so there is no climax community reached so it just remember that it keeps communities same so the the conservation has a lot of benefits um, these include that it stops the loss of species so it stops the decrease in biodiversity stops um, the loss of um, important species and that might go extinct ex extinct or that are endangered and it stops the loss of pharmaceuticals or medicines so for example if we have um, a, a forest where there are a lot of um, plants uh, which can be used for medicine and um, so it would stop um, the the loss of these trees which can be used for medicine and it would stop the co2 buildup in the atmosphere um, which can contribute to global warming so it also stops flooding and uh, desertification so for example by conserving you might stop the desertification or the cut down of trees and um, so that means um, the the soil will be held by the trees and desertification which is basically um, deserts forming won't happen because the trees will remain and the trees also they store um, the co2 um, in in the in themselves so it won't be released in the atmosphere which could contribute to global warming so these are the main benefits of conservation thank you so much for watching this video if you did like this video don't forget to subscribe to see more of these and you can watch my recent videos by clicking on the links popping up. Thank you.